How's it going everyone? So I wanted to talk about a must-have tool that you can get for your lawnmower, Honda lawnmower. Uh, these are vice grips. I've been sick for a while, that's why I'm talking like this. But um, these are great to have, only like 10 or 12 bucks. But I'll show you why in a sec. And um, I have my Honda HRR216 for about 10 years. And the pinion went on it. It's called a ratchet key and pinion gear. The pinion gear was um, number 42661 VH7000. Very easy to replace, and I'll show you why. On each side, uh, on each wheel, the rear wheel. But in order to do this, I usually take like a piece of wood and prop it up just so it's off the ground like that. You can get like two of them just in case. Like that, it's not gonna hurt. Then what you wanna do, let me zoom in a little bit better. Zoom into the wheel. I'll kind of dissect it. So what I'm using here is a 13 millimeter. <clears throat> this happens over time because you don't properly lube it or whatnot. And you just take the 13 millimeter. Actually, I think it's 14. Yeah, it's 14, sorry. 14 millimeter. And you just want to loosen it. And the reason why you'll hear it not click anymore or not go forward. See how it clicks going forward like that? Both wheels on the back should do that. You can hear it click, but this should just come off. This is what I usually, this is a bolt right here. See that? That's the gear. I usually grease that around that with red and tacky. And then what you have here, this is what goes. You can hear it. You hear it click. Let me zoom in a little bit to show you guys. There we go. That's better right there. So you'll hear it click, but you don't want the gear. You want the gear to go this way instead of going this way. The dealer, for some reason, he put it going this way. So I had to reverse it. And uh, that's just grease from the dealer. But this this has uh, washers as well. See, there's two washers here. So there's a, a washer that goes in like that on the shaft and just a flat washer. And then you got this uh, cover kind of, disc cover. But for this, these spring vice grips that I said were handy. You wanna just go in, this might be hard because it's kind of corroded. And that's how you take it off. You see that? That's the uh, spring clip. And then now you can take this off if you had to. So this has a, just a kind of a ring right there. And this has this. And then there's another ring, but you can see the teeth should be going like that. I'll leave a diagram below, but this usually is grease. You can see they packed a grease Honda. And then you have the half moon as well, right here. You can see the half moon spring ratchet key. See that, that is Item 42672 VE2 800. And that should be facing up. There's a spring in there that I usually, you know, spray white lithium grease. So it should be like that. And you can feel it bounce up and down. So to put it back, you just put it in like this. That's right, you can feel it going backwards and then forwards it stops. You don't want it going forwards this way. So that's right. And then with these clip, you can see the clip. You can ex expand it if you want, but this just fits in the groove right there and it just locks in place. 
very simple. But on my old Honda, this wore out the gears. So um, just for, you know, precautionary measures, I usually grease it once a year on either side. So this just goes, you can grease this part too right here where these gears are. I'll zoom out a little bit. And then it just fits right on the dust cover again. You feel it lock in. Then you put this bolt back on. I don't really use impact because it's too strong on these. Okay, that's strong. So now you can feel it. It moves now. It shouldn't move this way though, which it doesn't. So that's right. It should move that way. So that's how you do it, and that's why I like these a lot. These vice grips, our Irwin vice grips, really nice. See, the fronts are different, cause I think these are, yeah, these are 13 millimeter instead of 14. So the backs are 14. That's why it got me confused. And fronts, let's see. Let me just loosen it, just to show you guys. See, this doesn't have any ratchet or noise going. So just, this just comes out. That's an easy way of doing it. So you can see I used red and tacky on it. But it's got bearings inside as well. And the washer just goes in there like that. That's how it was at the dealer. And then this just screws on so it's a little different I just tighten it to snug so both fronts are the same both rears are the same on this but you can see it runs pretty smooth and the rear does the same so that's pretty much it. But after owning a Honda for 10 years, that was one thing that went. And I'm thankful to have the uh, this vice grip that I have right here. Just to re remove these springs. Um, they're kind of tough. They're a pain to remove. I'll leave a link down below, though, on the spring, vice spring. Which is very handy to have. Uh, great to do maintenance on it, like grease it and oil. Lube it up. And, all right, thanks guys for watching. Hope this was helpful. Take care.